Suda or is an 18.5 square kilometers, 7 square miles, Spanish autonomous city on the north coast of Africa, separated by 14 kilometers, 9 miles from Cadiz province on the Spanish mainland by the Strait of Gibraltar and sharing a 6.4 kilometers, 4 miles land border with Medik Fnideq prefecture in the Kingdom of Morocco. It lies along the boundary between the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean and is one of nine populated Spanish territories in Africa and, along with Melilla, one of two populated territories on mainland Africa. It was part of Cadiz province until 14 March 1995 when both Ceuta and Melilla's statutes of autonomy were passed, the latter having been part of Malaga province. Ceuta, like Melilla and the Canary Islands, was a free port before Spain joined the European Union. As of 2011, it has a population of 82,376. Its population consists of Christians, Muslims and small minorities of Sephardic Jews and ethnic Sindhi Hindus. Spanish is the official language, while Daria Arabic is also spoken by 40-50% of the population, which is of Moroccan origin. Names. The name Abila is said to have been a Punic name, Lofty Mountain, or Mountain of God, for Jebel Musa, the southern pillar of Hercules. It appears in Greek variously as Abila, Abila Abile, Abile Ablex, Ablex and Abel Steel, Abel Steel, Pillar of Abila, and in Latin as Mount Abila, Abila Mons, or the Pillar of Abila, Abila Colome. The settlement below Jebel Musa was later renamed for the seven hills around the site, collectively referred to as the Seven Brothers, Greek, Heptadelphoi Heptadelphoi, Latin, Septem Fraters. In particular, the Roman stronghold at the site took the name, Fort at the Seven Brothers, Castellum ad Septem Fraters. This was gradually shortened to Septem, Septen Septen or, occasionally, Septem or Septa. These clipped forms continued as Berber Sebta and Arabic Sebtan or Sabta Arabic, Esbit which themselves became Suda in Portuguese pronounced so, t, and Spanish pronounced Theta Yuda. History Ancient Controlling access between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, the Strait of Gibraltar is an important military and commercial choke point. The Phoenicians realized the extremely narrow isthmus joining the peninsula of Almina to the African mainland makes Ceuta eminently defensible and established an outpost there in the early 1st millennium BC. The Greek geographers record it by variations of Abila, the ancient name of nearby Jebel Musa. Beside Kalpa, the other pillar of Hercules now known as the Rock of Gibraltar, the Phoenicians established cart at what is now San Roque, Spain. Other good anchorages nearby became Phoenician and then Carthaginian ports at what are now Tangiers and Cadiz. After Carthage's destruction in the Punic Wars, most of northwest Africa was left to the Roman client states of Numidia and—around Abila—Mauritania. Punic culture continued to thrive in what the Romans knew as Septem. After Thapsus, Caesar and his heirs began annexing North Africa directly as Roman provinces but, as late as Augustus, most of Septem's Berber residents continued to speak and write in Punic. Caligula assassinated the Mauritanian king Ptolemy in AD 40 and seized his kingdom, which Claudius organized in 42, placing Septem in the province of Tingitana and raising it to the level of a colony. It subsequently Romanized and thrived into the late 3rd century, trading heavily with Roman Spain and becoming well known for its salted fish. Roads connected it overland with Tingus Tangiers and Volubilis. Under Theodosius I in the late 4th century, Septem still had 10,000 inhabitants, nearly all Christian citizens speaking Latin and African Romance. Medieval. Vandals, probably invited by Count Boniface as protection against the Empress Dowager, crossed the strait near Tingis around 425 and swiftly overran Roman North Africa. Their king Geyseric focused his attention on the rich lands around Carthage, although the Romans eventually accepted his conquests and he continued to raid them anyway, he soon lost control of Tingis and Septem in a series of Berber revolts. 
When Justinian decided to reconquer the Vandal lands, his victorious general Belisarius continued along the coast, making Septem an outpost of the Byzantine Empire around 533. Unlike the Roman administration, however, the Byzantines did not push far into hinterland and made the more defensible Septem their regional capital in place of Tingis. Epidemics, less capable successors, and overstretched supply lines forced a retrenchment and left Septem isolated. It is likely that its count comes was obliged to pay homage to the Visigoth kingdom in Spain in the early 7th century. There are no reliable contemporary accounts of the end of the Islamic conquest of the Maghreb around 710. Instead, the rapid Muslim conquest of Spain produced romances concerning Count Julian of Septem and his betrayal of Christendom in revenge for the dishonor that befell his daughter at King Roderick's court. Allegedly with Julian's encouragement and instructions, the Berber convert and freedman Tariq ibn Ziyad took his garrison from Tangiers across the strait and overran the Spanish so swiftly that both he and his Persian master Musa bin Nusair fell afoul of a jealous caliph, who stripped them of their wealth and titles. After the death of Julian, sometimes also described as a king of the Gomara Berbers, Berber converts to Islam took direct control of what they called Sebta. It was then destroyed during their great revolt against the Umayyad Caliphate around 740. Sebta subsequently remained a small village of Muslims and Christians surrounded by ruins until its resettlement in the 9th century by Majikas, chief of the Majkasa Berber tribe, who started the short-lived Banu Isam dynasty. His great-grandson briefly allied his tribe with the Idrisids, but Banu Isam rule ended in 931 when he abdicated in favor of Abd ar rahman III, the Umayyad Caliph of Córdoba. Ceuta reverted to Moorish Andalusian rule in 927 along with Melilla, and later Tangier, in 951. Chaos ensued with the fall of the Spanish Umayyads in 1031. Following this, Ceuta and Muslim Iberia were controlled by successive North African dynasties. Starting in 1084, the Almoravid Berbers ruled the region until 1147, when the Almohads conquered the land. Apart from Ibn Hud's rebellion in 1232, they ruled until the Tunisian Hafsids established control. The Hafsids' influence in the west rapidly waned, and Ceuta's inhabitants eventually expelled them in 1249. After this, a period of political instability persisted, under competing interests from the kingdoms of Fez and Granada. The Fez finally conquered the region in 1387, with assistance from Aragon. Portuguese On the morning of 21 August 1415, King John I of Portugal led his sons and their assembled forces in a surprise assault that would come to be known as the conquest of Ceuta. The battle was almost anticlimactic, because the 45,000 men who travelled on 200 Portuguese ships caught the defenders of Ceuta off guard and only suffered eight casualties. By nightfall the town was captured. On the morning of August 22, Ceuta was in Portuguese hands. Álvaro Vaz de Almada, 1st Count of Avranches was asked to hoist what was to become the flag of Ceuta, which is identical to the flag of Lisbon, but in which the coat of arms of the Kingdom of Portugal was added to the centre. The original Portuguese flag and coat of arms of Ceuta remained unchanged, and the modern-day Ceuta flag features the configuration of the Portuguese shield. John's son Henry the Navigator distinguished himself in the battle, being wounded during the conquest. The looting of the city proved to be less profitable than expected for John I. He decided to keep the city to pursue further enterprises in the area. From 1415 to 1437, Pedro de Meneses became the first governor of Ceuta. The Benimerine Sultan started the 1418 siege but was defeated by the first governor of Ceuta before reinforcements arrived in the form of John, Constable of Portugal, and his brother Henry the Navigator, who were sent with troops to defend Ceuta. Under King John I's son, Duarte, the colony at Ceuta rapidly became a drain on the Portuguese treasury. Trans-Saharan trade journeyed instead to Tangier. It was soon realized that without the city of Tangier, possession of Ceuta was worthless. In 1437, Duarte's brothers Henry the Navigator and Fernando, the Saint Prince persuaded him to launch an attack on the Marinid Sultanate. The resulting Battle of Tangier 1437, led by Henry, was a debacle. In the resulting treaty, Henry promised to deliver Ceuta back to the Marinids in return for allowing the Portuguese army to depart unmolested, which he reneged on. Possession of Ceuta would indirectly lead to further Portuguese expansion. 
The main area of Portuguese expansion, at this time, was the coast of Maghreb, where there was grain, cattle, sugar, and textiles, as well as fish, hides, wax, and honey. Ceuta had to endure alone for 43 years, until the position of the city was consolidated with the taking of Ksars Seguir Arzila and Tangier by the Portuguese. The city was recognized as a Portuguese possession by the Treaty of Alcachovas 1479 and by the Treaty of Tordesillas 1494. In the 1540s the Portuguese began building the royal walls of Ceuta as they are today including bastions, a navigable moat and a drawbridge. Some of these bastions are still standing, like the bastions of Coraza Alta, Bandera and Malarquines. Luis de Camos lived in Ceuta between 1549 and 1551, losing his right eye in battle, which influenced his work of poetry Os Lusiadas. <laughs> Iberian Union In 1578 King Sebastian of Portugal died at the Battle of Alcacer Quibir known as the Battle of Three Kings in what is today northern Morocco, without descendants, triggering the 1580 Portuguese succession crisis. His granduncle, the elderly Cardinal Henry, succeeded him as king, but Henry also had no descendants, having taken holy orders. When the Cardinal King died two years after Sebastian's disappearance, three grandchildren of King Manuel I of Portugal claimed the throne, Infanta Catarina, Duchess of Braganza, Antonio, Prior of Crato, and Philip II of Spain uncle of former King Sebastian of Portugal, who would go on to be crowned King Philip I of Portugal in 1581, uniting the two crowns and overseas empires known as the Iberian Union, which allowed the two kingdoms to continue without being merged. During the Iberian Union 1580–1640, Ceuta attracted many residents of Spanish origin. Ceuta became the only city of the Portuguese Empire that sided with Spain when Portugal regained its independence in the Portuguese Restoration War of 1640. <laughs> Spanish Disagreements regarding the border of Ceuta resulted in the Hispano-Moroccan War 1859 which ended at the Battle of Tetuán. On 1 January 1668, King Afonso VI of Portugal recognized the formal allegiance of Ceuta to Spain and formally ceded Ceuta to King Carlos II of Spain by the Treaty of Lisbon. The city was attacked by Moroccan forces under Moulay Ismail during the Siege of Ceuta during the longest siege in history, the city underwent changes leading to the loss of its Portuguese character. While most of the military operations took place around the royal walls of Ceuta, there were also small-scale penetrations by Spanish forces at various points on the Moroccan coast, and seizure of shipping in the Strait of Gibraltar. In July 1936, General Francisco Franco took command of the Spanish Army of Africa and rebelled against the Spanish Republican government. His military uprising led to the Spanish Civil War of 1936 to 1939. Franco transported troops to mainland Spain in an airlift using transport aircraft supplied by Germany and Italy. Ceuta became one of the first casualties of the uprising. General Franco's rebel nationalist forces seized Ceuta, while at the same time the city came under fire from the air and sea forces of the official Republican government. The Llano Amarillo Monument was erected to honor Francisco Franco, it was inaugurated on 13 July 1940. The tall obelisk has since been abandoned, but the shield symbols of the Falange and Imperial Eagle remain visible. When Spain recognized the independence of Spanish Morocco in 1956, Ceuta and the other plazas de Soberania remained under Spanish rule. Spain considered them integral parts of the Spanish state, but Morocco has disputed this point. Culturally, modern Ceuta is part of the Spanish region of Andalusia. It was attached to the province of Cadiz until 1925, the Spanish coast being only 20 kilometers (12.5 miles) away. It is a cosmopolitan city with a large ethnic Arab Muslim minority as well as Sephardic Jewish and Hindu minorities. On the 5th of November 2007, King Juan Carlos I visited the city, sparking great enthusiasm from the local population and protests from the Moroccan government. It was the first time a Spanish head of state had visited Ceuta in 80 years. Since 2010, Ceuta and Melilla have declared the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Adha, or Feast of the Sacrifice, an official public holiday. 
It is the first time a non-Christian religious festival has been officially celebrated in Spain since the Reconquista. Geography <inaudible> 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 Ceuta is dominated by Monte Eniera, a hill along its western frontier with Morocco. The mountain is guarded by a military fort. Monte Hacho on the peninsula of Almina overlooking the port is one of the possible locations for the southern pillar of the Pillars of Hercules of Greek legend the other possibility being Jebel Musa. Climate Ceuta has a maritime-influenced subtropical, Mediterranean climate, similar to nearby Spanish and Moroccan cities such as Tarifa, Algeciras or Tangiers. The average diurnal temperature variation is relatively low, the average annual temperature is 18.8 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit with average yearly highs of 21.4 degrees Celsius .5 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of 15.7 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit though the Suda weather station has only been in operation since 2003. Ceuta has relatively mild winters for the latitude, while summers are warm yet milder than in the interior of southern Spain, due to the moderating effect of the Straits of Gibraltar. Summers are very dry, but yearly precipitation is still at 849 mm .4 in, which could be considered a humid climate if the summers were not so arid. Politics. Since 1995, Ceuta is, along with Melilla, one of the two autonomous cities of Spain. Ceuta is known officially in Spanish as Ciudad Autónoma de Ceuta (English: Autonomous City of Ceuta), with a rank between a standard Spanish city and an autonomous community. Ceuta is part of the territory of the European Union. The city was a free port before Spain joined the European Union in 1986. Now it has a low tax system within the Economic and Monetary Union of the European Union. As of 2006, its population was 75,861. Ceuta has held elections every four years since 1979, for its 25-seat assembly. The leader of its government was the mayor until the autonomy statute had the title changed to the mayor-president. As of 2011, the People's Party PP won 18 seats, keeping Juan Jesus Vivas as mayor-president, which he has been since 2001. The remaining seats are held by the Regionalist Caballos Coalition and the Socialist Workers' Party PSOE, three. .Due to its small population, Ceuta elects only one member of the Congress of Deputies, the lower house of the Spanish legislature. As of 2011 election, this post is held by Francisco Marquez de la Rubia of the PP. <laughs> Subdivisions Ceuta is subdivided into 63 barriadas, neighborhoods, such as Barriada de Berazu, Barriada de P. Alfonso, Barriada del Sarcal, and El Hacho. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dispute with Morocco. The government of Morocco has repeatedly called for Spain to transfer the sovereignty of Ceuta and Melilla, together with the rest of the Spanish plazas de Soberania on the North African coast, on the grounds of asserting its territorial integrity. Morocco has claimed the territories are colonies. One of the chief arguments used by Morocco to reclaim Ceuta comes from geography, as this enclave, which is surrounded by Morocco and the Mediterranean Sea, has no territorial continuity with the rest of Spanish territory. This argument was originally developed by one of the founders of the Moroccan Istiqlal party, Alal El Fasi, who openly advocated for the Moroccan reconquest of Ceuta and other territories under Spanish rule. Economy The official currency of Ceuta is the euro. It is part of a special low-tax zone in Spain. Ceuta is one of two Spanish port cities on the northern shore of Africa, along with Melilla. They are historically military strongholds, free ports, oil ports, and also fishing ports. Today the economy of the city depends heavily on its port now in expansion and its industrial and retail centers. Ceuta Heliport is now used to connect the city to mainland Spain by air. 
Lidl, Decathlon Group and El Corte Inglés hardware have branches in Ceuta. There is also a casino. Border trade between Ceuta and Morocco is active because of advantage of tax-free status. Thousands of Moroccan women are involved in porter trade daily. Moroccan dirham is actually used in such trade, despite the fact that prices are marked in euro. Transport The city receives high numbers of ferries each day from Algeciras in Andalusia in the south of Spain, along with Melilla and the Canary Islands. The closest airport is Sanya Ramel Airport in Morocco. A single road border checkpoint to the south of Ceuta near FNIDEQ allows for cars and pedestrians to travel between Morocco and Ceuta. An additional border crossing for pedestrians also exists between Benzu and Belunesh on the northern coast. The rest of the border is closed and inaccessible. There is a bus service throughout the city, and while it does not pass into neighboring Morocco, it services both frontier crossings. Demographics Due to its location, Ceuta is home to a mixed ethnic and religious population. The two main religious groups are Christians and Muslims. As of 2006 approximately 50% of the population was Christian and approximately 49% Muslim. However, by 2012, the portion of Ceuta's population that identify as Roman Catholic was 68.0%, while the portion of Ceuta's population that identify as Muslim was 28.3%. Spanish is the primary and official language of the enclave. Moroccan Arabic is widely spoken, as are Berber and French. Topic: Religion. Christianity has been present in Ceuta continuously from late antiquity, as evidenced by the ruins of a basilica in downtown Ceuta and accounts of the martyrdom of Saint Daniel Fasanella and his Franciscans in 1227. The town's Grand Mosque had been built over a Byzantine-era church. In 1415, the year of the city's conquest, the Portuguese converted the Grand Mosque into Ceuta Cathedral. The present form of the cathedral dates to refurbishments undertaken in the late 17th century, combining Baroque and neoclassical elements. It was dedicated to St. Mary of the Assumption in 1726. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Ceuta was established in 1417. It incorporated the suppressed Diocese of Tanger in 1570. The Diocese of Ceuta was a suffragan of Lisbon until 1675, when it became a suffragan of Seville. In 1851, Ceuta's administration was notionally merged into the Diocese of Cadiz and Ceuta as part of a concordat between Spain and the Holy See. The union was not actually accomplished, however, until 1879. <laughs> <laughs> Education The University of Granada offers undergraduate programs at their campus in Ceuta. Like all areas of Spain, Ceuta is also served by the National University of Distance Education UNED. Primary and secondary education is possible only in Spanish however a growing number of schools are entering the bilingual education program. <inaudible> <inaudible> Migrants As in Melilla, Ceuta is attractive to migrants who try to use it as an entry to Europe. As a result, the enclave is surrounded by double fences that are 6 meters (20 feet) high, and hundreds of migrants congregate near the fences waiting for a chance to cross them. The fences are regularly stormed by migrants trying to claim asylum once they enter Ceuta. Topic: Notable people from Ceuta. Topic ten eighty three to seventeen hundred Qadi Iod ten eighty three in Suda eleven forty nine born in Suda then belonging to the Almoravids was the great Imam of that city Al Adrisi eleven hundred in Suda eleven sixty five in Suda was an Arab Muslim geographer cartographer and Egyptologist he lived in Palermo at the court of King Roger II of Sicily known for the Tabula Rogeriana.
Abu al Abbas as Sabti is the patron saint of Marrakesh. Joseph ben Judah of Suda c. was a Jewish physician and poet, and disciple of Moses Maimonides Abu al-Abbas al-Azafi a religious and legal scholar, member of the Banu al-Azafi who ruled Suda Muhammad ibn Rushaid in Sabda was a judge, writer and scholar of Hadith Alvaro of Braganza (1440–1504) was a president of Council of Castile. Topic: 1700–1800. George Camock (1666–1732) was a Royal Navy captain and former admiral for Spain who was exiled to Ceuta to live out the last years of his life. Don Fernando de Leyba was a Spanish officer who served as the third governor of Upper Louisiana from 1778 until his death. Brigadier General Francisco Antonio Garcia Carrasco Diaz was a Spanish soldier and royal governor of Chile. Sebastián Candelan y Origan was a colonel in the Spanish Army who served as governor of East Florida 1812–1815, of Santo Domingo 1818–1821 and was provisional governor of Cuba 1822–1823. Isidro de Ley Fabregas Count of Vergara and Viscount of Villarobledo, 1790 in Ceuta 1853 in Madrid was a Spanish general of the First Carlist War who backed Isabella II of Spain. 1800–1950 General Francisco Lano de la Encomienda 1879 in Ceuta 1963 in Mexico City was a Spanish soldier. During the Spanish Civil War 1936 he remained loyal to the Second Spanish Republic General Antonio Escobar Huertas 1879 in Ceuta, executed 1940 in Barcelona was a Spanish military officer Africa de los Heras Gavilan was a Spanish communist, naturalized Soviet citizen, and KGB spy who went by the code name Patria Eugenio Martín is a Spanish film director and screenwriter Jacob Hassan PhD, 1936 in in Madrid was a Spanish Jewish philologist José Martínez Sánchez born 1945 in Suda, nicknamed Piri, is a retired Spanish footballer, mainly played for Real Madrid, appearing in 561 competitive games and scoring 172 goals. Manuel Chaves González is a Spanish politician of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party. He served as the third vice president of the Spanish government from 2009 to 2011. Ramón Castellano de Torres born 1947 in Suda, is a Spanish artist, thought by some to be an expressionist painter. José Ramón López 1950 was a sprint canoeer. He won the silver medal in the 1976 Summer Olympics. 1950 to date Miguel Bernardo Bianchetti born 1951 in Suda, known as Migali is a Spanish retired footballer who played central defender. Francisco Lesums and Rafael Lesums bobbed brothers and Spanish footballers. Ignacio Velázquez Rivera born 1953, first mayor president of Melilla, Juan Jesús Vivas Lara became the mayor president of Suda in Spain in 2001. Pedro Avilas Gutiérrez is a Spanish novelist from Madrid. Nayam is a retired Spanish footballer, he scored a last-minute goal for Real Zaragoza in the 1995 UEFA Cup Winners' Cup Final. Eva Maria Asanta Foncuberta is a Spanish actress, Mohamed Tayeb Ahmed is a Spanish-Moroccan drug lord responsible for trafficking hashish across the Strait of Gibraltar and into Spain. 
Lorena Miranda is a Spanish female water polo player. She won the silver medal in water polo at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Twin towns and sister cities Suda is twinned with See also <laughs> <laughs>